Welcome aboard. We are delighted to have you with us as we embark on this crucial marine safety induction training. The sea is a vast and spectacular place, but it also comes with its share of hazards. Our goal today is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to stay safe while at sea. Whether you're new to maritime work or just need a refresher, this training is designed to be informative and engaging. Safety is paramount in the maritime industry. By understanding and following safety guidelines, we protect not just ourselves, but also our colleagues, the vessel and the environment. This training will cover a range of essential topics, from personal protective equipment to emergency procedures and environmental protection. Each section is crafted to ensure you gain a comprehensive understanding of marine safety. Throughout this training, we will emphasize practical knowledge and hands-on skills. Remember, safety is not just about knowing the rules, it's about applying them every day. We encourage you to ask questions and actively participate in discussions. Your engagement will make this experience more valuable for everyone involved. Let's dive in and start our journey toward a safer and more secure maritime environment. Together we can make a difference and ensure that every voyage is a safe one. Marine safety is crucial for anyone who works at sea. The unpredictable nature of the ocean means that we must be prepared for any situation. By adhering to safety protocols, we can prevent accidents and minimize risks. The primary goal of marine safety is to protect lives, property, and the marine environment. Understanding marine safety involves several key topics. These include the use of personal protective equipment, emergency procedures, fire safety measures, and pollution prevention. Each of these areas is vital in ensuring a safe working environment on board. Familiarizing yourself with these topics will help you respond effectively in emergencies. Accidents at sea can have severe consequences. From man overboard situations to fires and spills, each scenario requires a specific response. Knowing what to do in these situations can be the difference between life and death. Therefore, it is essential to stay vigilant and follow safety guidelines at all times. Finally, marine safety is not just an individual responsibility, it's a collective effort. Every crew member plays a role in maintaining safety standards. By working together and looking out for one another, we create a safer environment for everyone on board. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is your first line of defense against hazards at sea. Proper use of PPE can prevent injuries and save lives. Common PPE items include helmets, gloves, life jackets and safety harnesses. Each piece of equipment serves a specific purpose and should be used correctly. Helmets protect your head from impacts and falling objects. Always wear your helmet when working on deck or in areas where there is a risk of head injury. Gloves protect your hands from cuts, burns and chemicals. Choose the right type of gloves for the task at hand and ensure they fit properly. Life jackets are essential for staying afloat in the water. Make sure your life jacket is in good condition and fits snugly. In the event of an emergency, don your life jacket immediately. Safety harnesses are used to prevent falls when working at heights. Always inspect your harness for damage before use and ensure it is securely fastened. Proper maintenance of PPE is also crucial. Regularly check your equipment for signs of wear and tear. Replace any damaged items immediately. Remember, PPE is only effective if it is in good condition and used correctly. Emergencies at sea can happen at any time, so it is vital to know the proper procedures. The first step in any emergency is to stay calm and assess the situation. Panic can lead to mistakes, so keeping a clear head is crucial. Different emergencies require different responses. In a man overboard situation, immediate action is needed. Shout, man overboard and throw a life ring to the person in the water. Notify the bridge and keep an eye on the person until help arrives. In the case of a fire, sound the alarm and follow the fire emergency plan. Abandoned ship procedures are also critical. If you must abandon ship, wear your life jacket and gather at the muster station. Follow the instructions of the crew and board the lifeboat calmly. Knowing how to launch and operate a lifeboat can make a significant difference in an emergency. Communication is key in any emergency. Use radios or other communication devices to relay information and coordinate actions. Ensure that everyone on board knows the emergency signals and procedures. Regular drills can help everyone stay prepared and confident in their ability to respond effectively. 
Section 5, Fire Safety Measures. Fire is one of the most dangerous hazards at sea. Preventing fires and knowing how to respond to them is essential. Fire prevention starts with good housekeeping. Keep work areas clean and free of flammable materials. Store combustible substances properly and ensure that electrical equipment is in good condition. Firefighting equipment is vital for controlling and extinguishing fires. Familiarize yourself with the location and operation of fire extinguishers, fire hoses and sprinkler systems. There are different types of fire extinguishers for different types of fires. Make sure you know which one to use for each situation. Regular fire drills are crucial for ensuring everyone knows what to do in case of a fire. During drills, practice using firefighting equipment and follow the fire emergency plan. Drills help identify any weaknesses in the plan and allow for improvements. They also help build confidence in your ability to respond to a real fire. In the event of a fire, act quickly but calmly. Sound the alarm and try to extinguish the fire if it is safe to do so. If the fire is out of control, evacuate the area and follow the emergency procedures. Always prioritize your safety and the safety of your crew. Section 6 Personal Safety and Social Responsibilities Personal safety and social responsibilities are key components of marine safety. Following safety rules and maintaining good communication are essential for a safe working environment. Always be aware of your surroundings and adhere to safety protocols. Being responsible for your own safety also means looking out for your colleagues. If you see someone engaging in unsafe behavior, speak up and remind them of the proper procedures. A culture of safety depends on everyone being vigilant and proactive. Good communication is vital on board. Clear and concise communication helps prevent misunderstandings and ensures that everyone is on the same page. Use radios, hand signals, or other communication methods to relay important information. Regular meetings and briefings can also help keep everyone informed and aware of safety issues. Respect and cooperation among crew members are also important. A positive working environment contributes to overall safety. Treat your colleagues with respect and work together to maintain a safe and efficient operation. Remember, safety is a team effort. Section 7. Life-saving appliances and procedures. Life-saving appliances are critical for survival at sea. Knowing how to use these devices can save lives in an emergency. Life jackets, lifeboats and life rafts are some of the essential life-saving appliances on board. Life jackets are designed to keep you afloat and visible in the water. Make sure your life jacket fits properly and is in good condition. In an emergency, put on your life jacket immediately and follow the instructions of the crew. Lifeboats and life rafts are used for abandoning ship. Familiarize yourself with the location and operation of these appliances. Regular drills will help you practice launching and boarding lifeboats and life rafts. Knowing how to use these devices can make a significant difference in an emergency. Basic survival techniques are also important. If you find yourself in the water, try to stay calm and conserve your energy. Use the help or heat escape lessening position to reduce heat loss and increase your chances of survival. Stay with the group and follow the instructions of the crew. Section 8. Environmental Protection and Pollution Prevention Protecting the marine environment is a key responsibility for everyone at sea. Pollution can have devastating effects on marine life and ecosystems. By following pollution prevention guidelines, we can help preserve the ocean for future generations. One of the main sources of marine pollution is oil spills. Proper handling and storage of oil and other hazardous substances are crucial. Use spill containment measures and equipment to prevent leaks and spills. In the event of a spill, follow the spill response plan and report the incident immediately. Waste management is also important for environmental protection. Dispose of waste properly and follow the ship's waste management plan. Avoid dumping waste into the ocean and use designated disposal facilities. Recycling and reducing waste can also help minimize your environmental impact. Awareness and education are essential for effective environmental protection. Stay informed about environmental regulations and best practices. Participate in training and workshops to learn more about pollution prevention. Together we can make a positive impact on the marine environment. Section 9, Health and Basic First Aid. Maintaining good health and knowing basic first aid are important for safety at sea. 
Health issues can arise at any time, so it is essential to be prepared. Regular health checkups and a healthy lifestyle can help prevent many common ailments. First aid knowledge is vital for responding to injuries and illnesses. A well-stocked first aid kit should be available on board. Familiarize yourself with the contents of the first aid kit and how to use them. Basic first aid training should cover wound care, CPR and treatment for common injuries and illnesses. In the event of an injury, act quickly and calmly. Assess the situation and provide appropriate first aid. If the injury is severe, seek medical help immediately. Communication is key, so notify the bridge and keep them informed of the situation. Preventive measures can also help maintain good health. Practice good hygiene, get regular exercise and eat a balanced diet. Stay hydrated and get enough rest. By taking care of your health, you contribute to the overall safety and efficiency of the crew. Section 10, recap and ongoing safety attention. As we conclude this marine safety induction training, let's recap the main points. We covered essential topics, including personal protective equipment, emergency procedures, fire safety measures, and pollution prevention. Each of these areas is vital for maintaining a safe working environment at sea. Remember, safety is a continuous process. Stay vigilant and always follow safety guidelines. Regular training and drills are essential for keeping your skills sharp and ensuring preparedness. Encourage your colleagues to stay safety conscious and work together to maintain a safe environment. Communication and teamwork are key components of marine safety. Keep lines of communication open and support one another in following safety protocols. By working together, we can create a safer and more efficient workplace. Finally, take pride in your role in promoting marine safety. Your efforts contribute to the well-being of your crew, the protection of the vessel, and the preservation of the marine environment. Stay committed to safety and continue to prioritize it in your daily work. Section 11, questions and appreciation. We have reached the end of our marine safety induction training. Thank you for your attention and participation. Your commitment to safety is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the topics covered, please do not hesitate to ask. Remember, this training is just the beginning. Continual learning and practice are essential for maintaining a high standard of safety at sea. Stay curious and seek out additional resources and training opportunities to enhance your knowledge and skills. We are here to support you in your journey toward a safer and more secure maritime environment. Your feedback is valuable, so please share your thoughts on this training. Together we can improve and ensure that our safety practices remain effective and up-to-date. Once again, thank you for your dedication to marine safety. Stay safe, stay informed, and have a great voyage.